Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to simulate DC-DC boost converter with a closed loop control in MATLAB Simulink software. Before we start, I would like to request please subscribe to the channel, comment and like the video. This is, is our equivalent DC-DC boost converter. Here we have V3, lead acid B3, you can use any, depends, can you lithium iron, if I'm using lead acid, 12 voltage, rated capacity of 20 ampere hour, and the state of charge is at 100%. And we have the output as the load, resistor of 9 ohm, and we have also in our current circuit, we have capacitor of this value, and we have our inductor of this value. All of these values we calculated using a formula that is in the previous video or the code that we can get in our description. Now let's build our closed loop control. Come to the library browser. All that I need is there. We need the PI controller. The constant repeating sequence, and we need gain. Our gain is for us to to I'm using a per unit. Our desired output for our desired output voltage is twenty. Let me put it at twenty. Oh, sorry. Yes, our reference reference voltage. And we need the output voltage. And then times our gain. output goes to the PI control we get the open needs to change change to PI control here we leave it as minus one here we change to 5, 0 0.5 100 here we can leave it at zero our output which is limit should limit is a QT cycle Will be from 0 0.1 to 0 0.99. Why? And come to our. Then we have our repeating sequence. We need to change these values to according to the switching frequency to use. Here I'm, I'm changing. I'm, I'm using the switch the switching frequency I use to calculate my parameters and I'll use the same to calculate the period which is one over twenty thousand. One over twenty thousand is approximately zero point zero 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 five. And then the output let's change here to one. Here it's okay, we leave it like that, and then we connect to our gate. Just name it.
Then we will change the simulation time to five. Our input voltage is 12. Our desired output voltage is 20. Now let's simulate and see the variable system. If you see the output voltage is plus or minus 20 and we have 13 as the input voltage. We just open the, as you see, is around 20. As you see, a mean value is 19.99, which is good. Now let's just play around. Let's change to another value. Let's put, let's say, 15. It should give plus or minus 16, 15. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is giving us. I see that it's. Is fourteen point nine nine six nine seven, which is good. Fourteen point nine eight mean value, which is good. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, comment, like the video.